one of the main reasons why we need global NCAP is that cars which are apparently the same, they look the same, are in fact very different and the risk of being killed in the lower standard model can be as much as three times as great. The person who's killed or injured or has their child killed or injured in the low quality car, you're really saying to them, or the industry's saying to them, you don't matter as much. Now that's an outrageous thing to do. They cannot think that you can evaluate lives at cheaper prices in developing countries. It cannot happen anymore. The choice has to be given to the public. It is uh, a right of a citizen to understand and know which vehicles are safe and which vehicles are not safe and let the people decide. The fact that corners are being cut in a way that might really you know, devastate the life of a family and you know, the life of a human being is, is just shocking in this day and age. The sincere hope is that this test um, and the other tests really um, put safety firmly on the table as a priority. The idea that you can be in exactly the same crash and in one car you might survive and in another car you might die is just unthinkable. I think a lot of people are not really aware of that. Well, I think global NCAP really is important. All individual NCAPs can look after their own countries and that, that's all they're empowered to do. It's very hard to have a, 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 a national NCAP that looks at the country next door. It's, it's not relevant. So global NCAP has been able to, to reach out past the existing NCAPs into these new countries, to the Latin NCAP and ASEAN NCAP, and I think that's, that's the advantage of global NCAP. And we've, we've thought about it for a long time. It's similar to IRAP. I think we should recognise the very the strong similarity. And we need the safer roads just as much as we need the safer cars and the safer drivers. We need the systems. The systems are important. Global NCAP in this decade of action is one really important part to bring that, that whole system together. ASEAN NCAP will not be here without the help of uh, Global NCAP, Euro NCAP, Latin NCAP, Australian NCAP. We are brothers and we're helping each other. And uh, after two years, we have more than 20 cars being rated in ASEAN NCAP. And we can see major manufacturers all hands up and saying that we will equip the car with minimum double FX. And the major manufacturer like Toyota, Honda is doing it and now the rest is following the path. Well, we're here at the College of Traffic Management in Delhi in India at a very historic event, the first ever launch of independent crash test results for the most popular important cars on sale on the roads in India. As you can see behind me, you have very challenging roads in India, it's, but it's the sixth largest producer of motor vehicles now in the world, but also unfortunately has the highest number of road fatalities. And a lot of that is a lack of regulation of the vehicles and no consumer information that will guide buyers to buy safer vehicles. And for the first time ever, uh, Global NCAP has arranged for Indian cars to be crash tested so we can find out how safe are the vehicles on, on the roads. Uh, what we see, frankly, is an unacceptable lack of safety in the way that the vehicle is, is designed, the lack of an airbag and the structural failure that we, we see. And of course, it's disturbing enough to see the image of the crash test and to see the dummy trapped in this way in the vehicle. Imagine if we were looking at a real crash with the horrendous scenes that we would be seeing, uh, undoubtedly dead occupants. In the rear, no child seat, no possibility of fitting a child seat. In a crash, if there'd been children in the rear, they would now have gone right through into the front area where there's all this 
death and destruction of the parents. This, in a real world, would be a horrendous image of, of death and destruction. All the more horrendous because it's unnecessary, it's avoidable. The knowledge to prevent this level of destruction in vehicle crashes is known, it's applied around the world. There's no reason why we can't have all cars passing the basic UN regulations and achieving better performance than that, five-star cars wherever we can. When the NCAPs started, the more mature NCAPs, it was very difficult to make the industry move forward and develop technology and adopt and improve the vehicles to make them safe. Nowadays, with the youngest NCAPs, ASEAN NCAP, Latin NCAP, we have seen a very fast reaction from the industry towards what we are looking for in terms of better safety in the vehicles. And the reason for that is that they understood the benefits of showing the consumer that they have a safe car, a safe, affordable car. Well, I think in just two years, Global NCAP's sort of turbocharging vehicle safety. It's extremely exciting and, and rewarding to be part of this because here now in India, one manufacturer uh, decided to change their production, eliminate uh, a vehicle with no airbags, make it only available with airbags. That's an instant change. We've been able to do a like-for-like -like comparison of a, uh, of a model who the, the basic body shell performs quite well, but with the addition of airbags, it jumps from zero stars to four stars. And this actually shows how affordable safety is because the, the, the fundamental body structure is, is acceptable. The addition of just a couple of airbags, which is probably less than $100 investment, transforms the car into a life-saving vehicle. I think that this is a human right. We all deserve the same quality of vehicles. We all deserve the same standards. We all deserve to have airbags, ABS, and the new technology in our cars. I think that common people we don't need to study as an engineer. We don't need to understand the different devices. We just need to have safe cars. That's it. I think an extremely important point about vehicle safety is the role of fleets and fleet safety. Uh, whether it's companies or governments, they can give a very, very powerful signal to the marketplace and to the vehicle manufacturers by insisting on top quality vehicles. And the launch of the Global NCAP is a great opportunity. So we've taken a decision as a corporation to, uh, to require all our light vehicles worldwide to be five-star NCAP compliant. We've given our contractors three years to join us. We are already seeing manufacturers changing the NCAP star rating of their vehicles in order to meet our new requirements, which is extraordinary. Being part of the global NCAP network is really critical for vehicle safety across the world and helping to establish the new NCAP programs is, is an excellent way for us to live and learn and grow our own program. The Australasian New Car Assessment Program, NCAP, has been actively involved in providing technical advice, programming advice, consumer information advice and uh, in that way we can uh, spread our experience and knowledge of the crash test program and the benefits of it to these other countries to protect the interests of their people and protect the safety and lives of their people. And Australia, of course, is in a key geographic position in the Asia-Pacific region. It's got the best road safety performance of any country in the region. It's one of the best in the world, in fact. But it, it has a natural leadership opportunity across the whole of the Asia-Pacific to show to so many countries that are tackling the challenge of rapid motorization and rising road injury how to deal with it. So I think Australia has a huge amount to offer as um, a best practice model for the whole of the Asia-Pacific region. And in this decade of action, Australia really is, is one of the leading examples that we can see around the world. Well, we're here in New York at the United Nations General Assembly and the General Assembly has just uh, voted on a resolution which is extremely satisfying for the Global New Car Assessment Program because in that resolution it's called for all world regions to have NCAPs, to have consumer information programs uh, assessing the safety of vehicles in all world markets. It's extremely important to have got this kind of endorsement from the UN for the work we're doing in Latin America, in Asia, giving the ordinary car buyer the opportunity to know what is the safety performance of the vehicles they're buying. This is the 
decade of action. This is for global road safety, this is the time to do it. More families than ever are getting into cars in emerging markets and it's vitally important that they have that information, they know which cars um, are safer and which ones are less safe.